few questions have been asked. What's the difference between the old Superlight range and the new Surf Fisher range? So basically, I'll just give you a quick overview. The Surf Fisher range is just the upgraded versions of the old Superlights, Superlight X and BFS. The Surf Fisher 470 being the upgraded version of the BFS. And uh, in our range, which will be coming a little bit later on the year, the Surf Fisher 410, which is an upgraded, upgraded version of the old Superlight and Superlight X combined into one. Okay? We like the features of the old Superlight X and BFS, you know, being the surf riding kayak. So hence the name, the Surf Fisher. Surf for riding the surf. Fisher obviously still being a Fisher kayak. So we kept the features nice and wide, very stable, low seat, low foot pedal, pedal so very low center of gravity, so lots of stability. The kayaks themselves are given a complete revamp and you know, a new hull design, new top deck design, you try to make it a little bit more sexy, give it some nice rounded curves, you know, all guys like a few curves, so a little bit of rounded curves. The standard features, of course, very similar to the old Superlight, Superlight X and BFS, which we do have a video running through on your standard features of the kayak. But just to give you an overview, the Surfisher range is just an upgrade of the old Superlight, Superlight X and BFS range, so that's it. The surface range is a, is, a, is a move forward for us, improvements in quality of how we make the kayak, you know, lighter, stronger. So that's the, the, the main difference between the old super light range and the new surf fisher range. The surf fisher range currently consists of one kayak, but later on in the year, probably in about three months from now, we will be introducing the surf fisher 410. The standard walkthrough features on the surf fisher is standard between both kayaks. The difference, one is 4.7 meters, the one is 4.1 meters. So what we'll do is we'll run through the standard features on these kayaks so you get a better understanding of what each fitting does and why it's put in its place. So with the Surf Fisher, we start off at the front of the kayak. We have two drain holes. Front drain hole, like with all the kayaks, drains the complete kayak itself or the hull. Second drain hole drains the actual fish hatch, okay? So that's the fish hatch drain hole, the front or the whole kayak drain hole. So two drain holes in the front of the kayak. Next up, is your front carry handle, soft molded handle, easy to carry your kayak and lift your kayak when walking down to the beach. Directly behind the carry handle we have the large paddle rubber, the rubber to protect the kayak. When you place your paddle underneath the elastic, the elastic's not for carrying your kayak but really for securing where your paddle goes. So your paddle will come along, go underneath there, while you're sitting there you can put your paddle under, it holds your paddle in place. The rubber stops your kayak from getting scratched elastic holds your paddle firmly in place. Okay, from here we move back to the cockpit area. Move to the cockpit area on the Surf Fisher kayaks. First up, front carry dragging handle. This allows you to drag the kayak down to the water when you're standing on the water's edge. Then we have the completely adjustable rudder system. Obviously the pedals connected to a rudder. Push left, you go left. Push right, you go right. Pedals, as I said, are completely adjustable, which allows the, the pedals to be positioned in the right place depending on how tall or short the angler is. This makes a big difference in your comfort of your kayak, making sure the pedals are set in the, set in the right place. The footwells are the new, newer, slightly wider design with a little bit of a recess, so people with booties or got cold water who like to keep their, their feet in wetsuit boots now have a little bit more space to put their feet inside, so a wider footwell area. Foot strap, some people like to use the foot strap, some people don't, you know, it's completely adjustable Velcro which you can put your foot underneath. Between the two footwells, we have your large central fish hatch, okay? What I'll do is I'll show you your fish hatch now. Just to touch one more item. And your footwells in the surf fish are those are self-drainers. The self-drainers, as I said, are standard across all the kayaks. Small hole at the base of the footwell allows the water to drain out of the kayak when you're paddling forward. So, footwell area stays a lot drier. Once again, in the colder areas, and the colder water keeps your feet a lot warmer. Large central fish hatch on the surf fisher, as mentioned, in all the kayaks. It's a strap system, which there is a video to show you how the straps work, to secure the lid down, okay? Obviously the tighter you secure the lid, the less chance there is of water getting in when you're going in and out of the surf zone or the waves. On the front of the lid is a splash strip. Once again, when the wave hits the front, the splash strip allows the water to disperse, it stops the water from forcing its way underneath the hatch lid. Okay, so splash strip combined with the hatch straps keeps the hatch a lot more secure, a lot drier. The hatchet itself is made from a standard fiberglass, but once we open it, you'll see we have the large central fish hatch. Fish hatch, I said, as I said before, runs from the, cent from the middle of the seat all the way to the between the middle bung and the back bung. 
The hatch itself has the ability to be able to put the rods inside, to be able to store them so your rods go all the way to the front. The elastic here underneath this area is a place for you to put the butt of your rod. So you can put the butt of your rod on here so your rods stay up and out of the way of anything that's in the base of your fish hatch. The Velcro loops allow you to secure to your rods to stop your rods from moving forward or backwards. So you've got a nice securing system, but the elastic combined with the Velcro to secure your rods correctly. The fish hatch, large fish, central fish hatch as well as mentioned, not only can be used to store your rods, it can be used to store a tackle, it can use your, your extra tackle box, maybe a bait box, a couple of extra items, maybe you want some clothing or, or a whole lot of different lure pouches or jig pouches or something, plenty, plenty of space to keep inside your kayak. Running back under the seat and also forward, so if you're not using it for other items, you have plenty of plenty of space to keep all sorts in. Best part about it, of course, those big monster fish we, monster fish we try and catch, they fit me out comfortably. Okay, standing and surface, of course, are your side carry handles. Mentioned before in other kayaks, simply to carry your kayak on the, by the side, or if you want to secure a backrest, or if you want to secure a rod leash, or a paddle leash or something, you can use the handles to do that. Directly behind the cockpit area, we move to the rod holders. Standard on a surf fisher are two 50 degree or angled trawling rod holders with a place to secure your rod leashes or as mentioned to secure your backrest. Okay, so two standard rod holders. If you would like extra rod holders, the facility has been placed in your kayak behind the dry hatch to add the extra upright rod holders so you have facility to put them in. But a, sta a standard kayak comes with the two rod holders only. Directly behind the two rod holders, you move to the large rear hatch. There's an easy access hatch. Once again, another storage area in your kayak where you can put tackle bags, clothing, juice bottle for drinking, phone, or phone keys. Be careful, these hatches do get a little bit of water in somehow, sometimes. So if you're putting valuables like phones or keys in, try and put them in a waterproof pouch just to make sure so that nothing gets wet. So easy access rear hatch combined with a large central hatch, more than enough space to store anything you like on your kayak. The next option you have, little small recess area okay in the back the small recess area allows you to put a tackle box okay secure your life jacket or any other item on you so a little bit of extra storage with some shock cords so basically an extra storage area then your rear rudder hatch access it's just a hatch cover that allows access to your rudder system simple okay underneath is your rudder turn, turning left and right simple last item a rear carry handle soft molded carry handle. The idea of this carry handle once again is to carry your kayak down to the water if you've got a friend who wants to carry the front or you want to carry the back. Nice soft molded carry handles to carry the kayak down to the water. So that's it. Pretty simple surface range as going through all the features on it as mentioned in all the kayak ranges. Every item on these kayaks is cleverly positioned or thought out to make it an easier kayak and adventure for you and the items themselves have a purpose. So Run through the video again if you're not sure and you'll be able to get an idea of what everything, how everything works on these kayaks. Okay, not to forget that the, the good old surf fisher is your mean machine for the big surf conditions or the big waves. For the guys who, who like to launch and big surf or who want the kayak that really surfs the wave nicely, that's where your surf fisher falls into the market.